So, how are you going people? Today is a beautiful day to make a coin video. It's nice and warm outside and it is 20 degrees Celsius. So, today I have some coins from Denmark. These are older coins, they are no longer legal tender. And they were pretty much a coins used up until probably, mm, probably 90s. So they did have a coinage reform in the 90s. So here are the, here are the current coins. The 25 is no longer legal tender. It's no longer issued. The 50 or is the largest coin. So 97. And if you see here, the size difference, there was a reduction in size. So what's my favorite coin here? Well. It's these two aluminium bronze coins. Birdie, a funny one that people have, have seen is this black one. Go, okay, why is this coin black? Well, it's because it's zinc. And zinc was introduced in 1942 by the uh, German occupation authorities. And the Denmark just continued to use zinc coins until 1972. Now between 1960 and 1966 they did issue bronze coins as well as zinc coins so they both circulated alongside each other and generally Dem Danish coins just have the denomination on, on one side and sometimes they have the coat of arms on the higher denominations they also have a crown and the initials of the reigning monarch so this is what's his name uh, Frederick so that's an F King Frederick the ninth and also on the larger coins generally has his portrait so this is a coat of arms of Denmark and on the back is um King Frederick's portrait and later on uh, they had uh, Margrief the second the Queen of Denmark. So, as you can see, these two coins are of different monarchs, the two five kronos, but they still pretty much have the coat of arms, so it's a, and they have oak around the side, and on the other side, they just have the reigning monarchs. And the same with any other coin with the uh, reigning monarchs but under Frederick as you can see on these are uh, 10 ore coins they just changed the design for some reason no real major difference uh, oh it's, there is a major difference in that this one is a oak and I think that's laurel and this one does not but in 1972 they actually got rid of the 1, 2 and 5 all coins, the large five all coin, and they replaced the five all coin with the a smaller all co five all. And that's probably why they actually changed the design. Um, so also we have an older ten all, and this coin was issued between nineteen twenty four and nineteen forty seven, except for between nineteen forty one and forty five when it was a zinc coin, and this is a copper nickel coin. And as you can see, it has spiral patterns that can be identified as uh, Viking patterns. And if you can see the ore, it has a line through it. Uh, that might be a long vowel, but I've not looked up Danish, so I'm not really going to le learn Danish. And this is a Christian attempt coin. And it's dated 1934, and that year there were a bit over 2 million of these coins issued. The other coins that are here have a higher mintage. So if you can see here, in 1960 both of these coin designs are issued, as well as the 25 ore, these are pretty much the same monarch. Uh, so we've got 
Frederick the 9th on the back. And this one, same Frederick the 9th, but one has a hole and the other one mm -hmm. does not. So the hole coin was first issued in 1924. A little bit of a different design under the Christian X. And then in 1948, they replaced it with this design. Uh, in uh, copper nickel and I actually issued two designs for this so this is just the design with the uh, reef on the denomination side and before 1960 they had the reef on the King's initial side so Frederick the 10th and as you can see it's plain so Danish coins are, are pretty boring at this time period but they uh if you're interested in collecting Danish coins then I would actually collect some of these. Just one is enough. And this one is the uh, 1966, which has about 50 million. And in 1966 and 1967, these two coins here were actually issued. So that you had a whole one and one without a whole. And the mintage figures actually pertains to both of them. So in, this one had 50 million coins minted. That mintage includes the 1966 with the hole. And in 1967, there were 87 million coins minted, this one. But that includes coins without the hole as well. So there might be like 50-50 I'm not too sure. I haven't come across any information, but it seems that these two coins are pretty cheap. So, ones 1966 and 67 with and without the hole are pretty common. Then you have one corona. So, this was a aluminium bronze coin, first issued in 1924. And was replaced in 1942 with this coin here. So, this is actually dated 1942. And it has... Uh, the Danish crown on it and on the obverse side it just has the initials Kung of Denmark and this coin was issued under Christian the 10th so it has the EC both forwards and backwards and this coin is dated 1940 which had a mintage of uh, about one and a half million coins it's one of uh, probably the fourth highest minted coin here the 9 and 25 is the most common and majority of the minting was about half a million coins for most states and this one is plain then in 1942 we had this coin it has wheat and what's the other plant I'm not too sure might be rye could be rye so and on the other side, we just have a uh, Christian the tenth, and for nine and forty-two is about four million coins minted, a little bit less than that. But that is uh, not the highest date. The highest date is nineteen forty-seven. And in nineteen forty-seven, uh, another coin was issued with Frederick the ninth after this guy passed away, and that was issued up until. 1960 when they replaced it with the aluminium bronze coins. So this is the coat of arms on the front and it has uh, Frederick the ninth on the back and this coin is actually it's dated 1971 and in that date there's about 40 million coins minted which is hmm, probably the mid-range the highest was 32 million in uh, 1963 but I actually got this one from the Danish Embassy when I was a teenager. I was doing some information on... I need some information on Denmark. And I wrote to the Embassy and they sent me oh, a coin back. So thank you very much to the Danish Embassy in uh, Melbourne. So that was awesome. I was actually very delighted when I got that coin. Grouse, no one had actually sent me a coin before. So if you want to send coins... I'd actually reply and send something back to you. And here, I have a one corona of 1975. 
And this one was first issued in 1973, and this is Mark D. The, the second. And in 1975, had a mintage of uh, 20, bit over 20 million coins. And that seems to be the mid range for these coin mintages. Uh, the highest is about 36 million in 1984, and the lowest is uh, 1982. So with 5 million coins. So these coins are not really that rare. Now they haven't minted a 2 krona since 1959 at this period and they reintroduced it in 1992 but that's not part of the series. I actually don't have a 2 krona even in the new series which is uh, this one here it has a hole in it but it's pretty much the same design as that. So we this coin was first issued in 1960, before this, Denmark really, uh, they didn't use a 5 krona. And this one, coin here is actually the highest minted of this design, with uh, 9.7 million coins. The lowest is 1969, so if you can get that, 71,000 coins, that's very collectible. Uh, so 1969, remember? And this is the basic design. And here we have another one, and this one is 1967, so this has about 2 million coins, it's on the low side, but common enough that really it's not collectible, it's just like scrap value. And then we have this coin issued in 1977, so this issue with the II was first issued in 1973 up until 1988. And these coins were legal tender up until they actually uh, demonetized them in. Actually, no, I don't think this one's been demonetized. I think this issue is still legal tender. So, I may be wrong. All these coins may be legal tender. And they only demonetize coins that have been taken out of circulation, like the 2, the 10, the 25 ur. So, anything 50 ur and above is still legal tender. So sorry for confusing you people. And 1977 is about uh, 6.8 million coins issued. It's one of the highest mintages, the second actually. And the lowest mintages are from the uh, 80s, after 83, excluding 86. And they are the coins again, so really it's not that rare. So those are my coins from Denmark. I did actually have this set before, but I actually sold it, so I'm trying to build this coin collection up again. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Please like and subscribe, and check my links down below.